And let's see, we've had uh, three followers on the day. Because I'm going to count the Silly Joey's one as a follow, even though... Well, this time it said it went through, because before it said it blocked one from me. I don't know. But anyway, I'm going to count it. Get the lem sip? What is lem sip? Lem sip? Uh, I'm not even 25, but I sound about 80 sometimes. Yeah, I can see that with nasally issues and whatnot. Pittsburgh Penguins. Ah, oh, son of a buzzard. I have a very horrible track record against Pittsburgh. So you know what, I'm just gonna do the all-star one again. I was gonna go superstar, but... I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna put myself through that torture. This one's gonna be bad enough as it is. Uh, difficulty... Let's go all-star. Let's do it, that's what we played the last one at. Slight advantage at the end of that one. We ended up winning at 6-4. But this one could turn out to be a little bit different. I can usually keep up a fairly physical game against Pittsburgh, but uh, unfortunately I can't get the actual offense where it counts. And that is the puck in the back of the net. But hopefully, hopefully we can turn it around this time. Alright, that was kind of a funny face uh, Eddie Olchek was making when I kind of skipped through it. Caught him right in the middle of a weird pose. Crosby picked clean as he goes into the corner. See, Fleury's a bit of a beast, so I have some problems getting the puck in past him. Forcing the goalie to crane left and then right. Gathered in by Torres. Oh. They had a really good scoring opportunity there. They couldn't quite handle the pass. Same thing happened when we broke into the zone. Deep into the corner. Tried that pass right in front of the net. Couldn't quite get a stick on it. Led on to Burns. Gains the zone. To Torres. Swept on to Demers. Wonderful Demers with a weak shot through it almost got tipped out in front. Let's see. Uh, so the Lemsil, was that it? Uh, get their Lemsip. There we go. It's flu tablets. Sounded like some sort of lemon drink that would be heated or something like that. For dealing with congestion and whatnot. Ah, oh, took too long in the windup. Couldn't get the shot off. Couple players dove on that one. Ended up breaking up that play. Terrible pass. Went in on net. A little too close. They make those two, but I hate them. I have the apple cinnamon ones. The uh... Yeah, that was a pretty big hit. That kind of put him down. 
Am I gonna mod you? Well, maybe. You were asking earlier about the timeout command. I don't think the timeout has been something that's really had to come up. We gotta, uh, we gotta wait for Bryson to come on, and then we'll, uh, we'll have a talk with Bryson and with Becky, and we'll see what's, see what's up. Uh oh. Could not be filtered through a strong play by Hamilton. Carries it up the wing. Break up the sideboards on this one. On Bring it back down low again. Got in front. Oh. Tried for the pass. Took a weird bounce back to our own end on that one. Just had to rip one in there, see how it went. You got disconnected. That's not good. And he slides it on through the middle. Gets across, looks over his options. Pointed to Van Eyck. That shot hit a man. Cut by Horn. I tried to get a stick on it. Diagonally to Crosby. Laid on to Kunitz. Slid just inside the line to Martin. To Hornquist. We started getting that passing play going around, cycled it around into the corner. That was looking pretty dangerous. Uh, Becky, yeah, you did hear your name. Um, excuse me. Um, Silly Joey is looking to get modded within the channel. Um, I said we'd have to uh, convene with you and Bryson, but... I hope Bryson's feeling all right, because he hasn't been around the past little while. I accidentally turned my Wi-Fi off on my phone because I'm dumb. Well, it's it's a mistake anybody can make, really, turning off the Wi-Fi. But, uh, let's see here. Quick rundown after the first period. 0-0. Zero, zero, total shots 5-2 to two in favor of Ottawa, but I think Pittsburgh has had some actual better chances on that. Hits. Slight lean in the Pittsburgh direction of things, which is kind of odd. Time on attack, double for Ottawa. Um, let's see, passing percentage. Yeah, Pittsburgh is at 80% on that passing. So they've got a lot more movement, a lot better setup and chances on there. Passing percentage for Ottawa is slightly under 60%. So we're a little bit under where we normally are. Faceoffs won, even at two apiece. Um, and not really much else to report on that one. Um, let's see. I thought there was something else I was going to mention, but I can't can't remember. Clearing the notifications and tap the button. Turned off that Wi-Fi. That's an easy enough thing to do. That's on. Let me guess. I'm going to guess Samsung. Up and over. Oh, that's what we like to see. Quick off the draw there. Picked up the puck. Let's see how this one transpired here. Because I'm watching on the dashboard. There was a huge rebound. Picked it up in a front slot. Break up the sideboard. Mid to high slot area. Rip that shot. Huge rebound up and over. That's what we like to see. Kind of a fluke goal, but we'll take it. Koivu, huge on that one. Apparently it was unassisted, too. I would have said uh, Lindback got an assist on that one, but apparently that is not the case. Nice little bump on that one. Uh-oh. Oh, couldn't quite pick up that rebound. Not Samsung. 
starts the danger here. Well, I would have. That was my guess because I'm pretty sure Samsung has their whole Wi Fi setup thing on the whole clearing, or up with the notifications when you do the swipe down. Whole bunch of crazy characters in the chat going on. What is this? When are you going to end the stream? I've got about 12 minutes left, so pretty much after I'm done this game. But I don't like to say when I'm going to end a stream until I'm about to end it. we still got a lot of hockey left to go. On an LG, same kind of thing. I like the LG products. Uh-oh. Broke up the chances twice there. There we go. Uh-oh. That was a bad place to go with that by, with Vanek. Oh, uh, tried to pick him clean. Didn't quite work. Big hit on that one. I saw him go to the bench. I think that was just on the line change, though. Hamilton, huge shot. Oh. Out in the slot. Right on his stick on the centering pass. Oh. Uh-oh. Pittsburgh's got two on this. I was going to go for my little deke move, but uh, hauled down on the play. So, uh, let's see. This is an easy call for the official, Doc. We got some play more crazy play characters play in the chat. Uh, I love my player. phone. Wasn't sure at first, but now I love it. Sometimes and it just Joe takes a little bit bit of getting used to, especially if you change from one type to another. Um, it's like my brother was used to... Oh! Five on three here, that's what we like to see. Uh, my brother used to have an iPhone for work and then switched over to... Uh, or no, he had an iPhone just through his family thing and family plan and then uh, I got switched over to a Samsung. He didn't like the Samsung at first, but I think he got used to it and really loved it. He, but, uh, let's see, I'm going to stop. Okay, I would, yeah, I would appreciate if you stop with the crazy characters, the text characters and whatnot. It's fun every so often, but then when every message becomes that, it's a little much to try and cipher through. But it's cool that you're able to do that. Oh! Wasn't quite how we wanted to set that one up. But it resulted in a half-decent chance. Tried to get that pass through for that one time where you could see there, but it went off the defenseman's skate. Popped up over into the slot. All right, well, thanks, Joey, for stopping by. We'll see you in the next stream, which will be uh, in a couple hours after this one ends. You know the time. Oh, that wasn't quite what we were going for on that one. Weird bounce. Uh, offside on that marker. I'd like to extend a welcome to anybody who may be uh, new to the stream, checking it out. Thanks for stopping by. Just doing a little bit of solo play, building up a couple point coins. Um, and then once I figure out what's going on with my network, we'll be uh, getting into some of the online stuff. Pittsburgh's got it off the draw at center. 
He's got it there. He wants to clear it out. Cleared out, and that forces them to drop back. The Penguins have killed uh -oh. Carries it up the side. Not a long pass, but effective. He's got it. In the second period. Up the wing with it now. Takes it up near the boards. Moves up the side with it now. Into the attacking end. Bad pass out, icing call with 0 0.1 seconds left to go on the clock for the period. Had a Sony phone before, then switched up to the LG. Nice. I think my past couple have been Motorola's. So I had one through Virgin Mobile with, in Canada that gave me unlimited texting to the U.S. And then here, that was what came free with their phone plan. I could have got the iPhone 4, I believe it was at the time, but uh, I wanted to go Android. I'm more a fan of the Android operating system than all the Apple stuff. But anyway, at the end of the second period, start of the second intermission here. one nothing for Ottawa. Total shots 15-7 to in favor of Ottawa. Hits slight advantage on the Ottawa side of things, 11-10. Time on attack. Uh, I was going to say closing in on doubling territory, but not quite. A uh, couple minutes advantage on the Ottawa side of things. Passing, definite advantage over on Pittsburgh's side, but they have slipped. They were at about 80%. Uh, for their passing rate at the end of the first period. So they've dropped a little bit, but Ottawa's gotten a little bit better moving that puck around. Pittsburgh played a little bit undisciplined on this one with uh, two power plays on Ottawa's side, two minutes and four seconds for power play minutes, two face-offs, one for Ottawa versus ten for Pittsburgh. Um, now for Ottawa, I don't think they... Uh, Box score, that's what I was looking for. All events. Uh, Koivu, yeah, his was a e and an even strength goal. That two minutes and four seconds, they had the overlapping penalties right there. Pretty much right after the face-off. After they got the first penalty, they shot it over the glass. Direct slap shot over the benches. Led to that five on three. Could not convert on that one. Gets in, looks over his options here. Chip to Pominville. Took that pass perfectly off the wing. Uh, had a little bit of passing going around. Pass back to Lindback, started from the other end again. And played through center for Vanish. And Becky says, my iPod is my only Apple thing. Takes it up that side. Yeah, I had... I got one of the iPod touches and I was all excited because I was... There were a couple games that I like to play on it. By the time I got it... Oh, hang on a sec here. Couldn't get in on it. And I got one of the iPod touches. I was all excited because there was a game I used to like to play. Go to the Apple Store, set up my iTunes account. Go to download the game. Oh, there we go. It uh, it said that I didn't couldn't upgrade my device to the required version of iTunes or whatever. So I don't I don't like that that all of a sudden apps that used to be completely compatible for it they can't get the. Uh, the operating system on the older devices, so they eventually just kind of shut it down. So on this power play, they will resume from their own end of the ice. Moves it to the shadow of the boards. Pumped him off the puck. Worked along the boards, tried to get it out. Oh. It was a huge slap shot from the point. Lynn back with that waffle board. I just like that term. Point blast. 
Demers rips it through, blocked out in front. Vlasic got it on net, but we can't seem to get it past Fleury. Gather it up in our own zone. And played through center for Couture. Great job to slip on by. Got to clear it here. Couture tried to deke through. Couldn't get any of those fancy moves working. Stole wires one. I think that was tipped out in front because that was somebody else celebrating right away. Craig Smith with that little tip out in front, it looks like. Presenting himself pretty largely here. However, there's still room for the puck to beat him. I think he just got a stick on it and banged it home. That works. Let's see. Becky says, I have a classic with biggest memory, but it's nearly full. Can't live without my iPod. You got to keep the tunes going. Pittsburgh's collected another victory on the I feel weird because I actually got to the point where I don't listen to much music anymore. And it used to be I'd always have music going. It, Listening to music, playing music, singing something. I just, last year, I don't know, I kind of cut a lot of the music out of my life. It's a very weird feeling. Of course, like, in the car with my wife when she's driving, I'll, we'll toss on CDs and stuff, but... It's weird now that it's only a few minutes a day and not like all day. Oh no. And played through center for Spalling. Turned right away with the poke check by Seidenberg. Oh wow. That was a weird angled shot. Seidenberg with the diving poke check. Got it off his stick. Let's see here. Behind the goal line. He had that glove on it. Popped it up a little bit. Spun around. Um, Becky says, I usually play Xbox with music on. What kind of music you like? Um, I'd say... I'm more of a medium-heavy music listener. I like my 90s alternative, some of the grunge. Uh, Korn is pretty much great for whenever. Manson has those albums too that are pretty much great for whenever. Oh, wow. I'm a, a sometimes Slayer listener. I do like them, I just, uh... They're, they're not necessarily a sit-around-and-chill kind of band. Chili Peppers are up there on the list. That was a nice little shot. Wrap around, backhand, put it on the far side, right inside that post. Popped it up, almost got it on that stick side. Oh, Palmenville! Yes. Hey, sorry, I don't, I don't normally react like that, but oh, we were up two nothing. For those of you who missed it, we were up two nothing. They came back, scored two very quick goals. We got a little bit of an offensive push going here. You can see there's a few fumbles around in net in front. Palmenville got that goal, or got that, uh, got that puck, popped it in. Um, grilled cheeses, oh my god, yes. 
best music. I swore I'd never get married unless Metallica could play at my wedding. Uh, my wife actually, well, we had our wedding in her parents' backyard. And her, uh, oh, shoot. Oh, oh no. You could tell that was going to happen for a long time. Um, my wife's song for walking down the aisle was um, Thunderstruck, the two cellos version. And then uh, for our reception, the last song that was played at the end when we had our dinner and everything was a song from the Diablo 3 soundtrack. It was, uh, so we, we snuck in a little nerdy kind of stuff in there. Along with a little bit of edge. Of course, Crosby with the breakaway goal. Tried for that one timer, couldn't quite pop it in. 11.6 seconds left in regulation. This has been a back and forth game for the past couple of minutes. Really since about the five minute, well, 15 minute marker in the period with five minutes left. It, it was up in the air, back and forth. Had four goals in this period alone. He throws it there. <sighs> All right, so we're going to overtime this with this one. Is on the way to overtime. These shot totals reflect what has happened in the first six Warming up the hands a little bit. 23 for Ottawa and 17 for the Penguins. Crosby's goal has forced overtime. Pretty impressive, but it'll be the second most important when this game ends. Intermission is next. Threw a little emoji thing in there. That is epic. We try and ways to sneak all our nerdy love into ours. Yeah, we were going to do a lot more nerdy kind of stuff, but with our wedding, it was a lot of Florence family and a lot of or a lot of my wife's family, and um, they, uh, they don't game quite as much, most of them, so there's there's a lot of touches that would have been kind of lost. So we decided to go with a little bit more traditional, but kind of snuck in our little undertones in there. And anyway, at the end of regulation, we're sitting at 3-3. 23 shots for Ottawa, 17 for the Pittsburgh side of things. They started back with a fury on that one. T hits 20-19. to 19. Slight advantage on Pittsburgh side. As I said before, it's usually a physical game against Pittsburgh time on attack we've held that puck for most of it well a little bit more of it haven't been able to convert though on those extra shots we've gotten well as much as we'd like anyway passing percentage Pittsburgh has slipped again I believe um, they had another penalty in there could not convert on the on the following power play let's see uh, faceoffs one just a couple more for Pittsburgh 16 to 4 one breakaway for Pittsburgh, which led to a breakaway goal, which tied it up at three when we thought Palmonville had the game winner. But and then Crosby, doing what Crosby does, snuck in there. Stoles out, that's not good. Palmonville across, couldn't quite get it. Should have cut around behind the net. Crosby tried. Almost got bumped off the puck. Tried my little deke move. Couldn't cut quite wide enough over to the side. Got about two minutes left to go here in the overtime frame. Shooters try to get him to bite on this first move. He does it. Great patience to make the stop. Yeah, I 
tried it a little over too far. Should have been a little bit closer to the center ice area. From a vertical standpoint, anyway. A little bit closer to the middle of the slot. Oh, up over the board, or up over the glass. Up over the net, there we go. I was trying everything that's behind the net, but it was up over the net, hit the glass, there we go. Oh. Ahead through center for Hornquist. Hatchets one. Hatchets one couldn't get it through. He gets through. Oh. He had a nice pass block there. Broke up the pass. Flurry was in the air. Not sure he would have been able to get on. Bad clearing attempt. Through the neutral zone by Thomas Let's see here, Vanek. To Pominville. Oh, we got a fight right away. All right. Vanek and Latang. Oh, let's hang get some on that one. Close fight on that one. Couldn't quite take him down. This fight's mercifully ended for the visitors. The home crowd is ecstatic. They're making all kinds of noise. Chris Latang and Thomas Vanek. They'll sit out for the rest of the game now. With about a minute left to go. Well, less than a minute to go. In overtime. Oh. Using the point. Carried through center ice by Green. Gets in. What'll he do? He's through. Oh, and he's hammered. Wrist shot. He got his pad on it. Tried throwing it out in front of the net. Couldn't quite get anything out there. So nothing from our overtime period. Couple close calls for Pittsburgh. But now we got the dreaded shootout. Usually don't do too well in the shootouts here. But we're up 1 0. On that first round, that one seemed to go all right. Flurry with the diving attempt. It is pressure to be the first guy chosen, even if you're not first overall. He had an idea, but it didn't work. He can tighten this shootout like a vice. It's one nothing. What's the score next? Wonderful save. Tried to go fast on it. Didn't quite work. Lynn back. Hopefully he can hold. Hold out on this one. Malkin, second round, second shooter. The deficit is one. Outstanding save. Lynn back on that one. Malkin can't put it past him. Tour pops it in. That's the insurance marker. The game is over. Pittsburgh's come up big in games recently, 
but once again, I think that's the first time winning against Pittsburgh in the All-Star difficulty and one of my first uh, shootout wins. So that's what we like to see. So ends another game and another telecast. We hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching. For Eddie Olchek and Ray Ferraro, Mike That was one of the closer attempts in the overtime frame there. So completion, 600 coins. Skill bonus, 418 with that one-time uh, or one time difficulty multiplier. Fan appreciation of 51 for total re coin reward of 1,069. And Becky with a big whoop. Thank you on that one. We got the win. Wasn't quite what I was expecting to happen as soon as I went into overtime. But at the end of it all, all said and done, Ottawa wins 4-3. Total shots, 26-21 for Ottawa, 24-23 for hits. Time on attack, two-minute advantage for Ottawa. Passing percentage, uh, again, over on the Pittsburgh side of things, but they were progressively getting worse with their passing throughout the game. Penalty minutes, we had a few of them within that game. Three power plays on Ottawa's side of things. Could not convert on any of them. Face-offs won, domination by Pittsburgh on that one. Crosby was on his, on his face-off game. 18 to 5. One breakaway, which resulted, of course, in that goal to tie it up for Pittsburgh. Take a look at our, oh, not our box score. Our three stars, Koivu with a goal and assist and four hits. Kunitz for Pittsburgh with two assists and two hits. And Malkin with one goal, zero assists, and one hit on the game. And that'll put us to the main menu.